Oh, I'm having trouble bringing the wiring from the living room on the back side of this wall into this room. I guess I'll just take the whole wall down because I've got to insulate anyway. So I don't know. But anyway, now I am drilling holes in the concrete and this is my way of doing it. <laughs> I tried the grinder, it scared me half to death. So now I just drill little holes all the way around and take a chisel and punch it out. It's a little bit slower, but it does work. I got that wall down, or most of it. The only problem is, let me show you. This just kind of folds. Look here. That's old termite damage. But, uh, and it even got all the way. I know it's not very bright. Sorry. Anyway, where's the sunshine on this thing? Okay. Hang on. Now you can see it. My, my, my. This is not a load bearing wall, thank goodness. Looks pretty good up there. And it sure ate that up. So I'm gonna have to replace those two. The other ones look alright. See what's the bottom. Yeah. It looks all right. What a mess. Oh, all man. right. Left off with the termite damage. So, ow. We came, took care of that. Got all that out. There's a little bit right there, but it's such a tiny amount and it doesn't follow through that I'm just going to lay another board right across there. And put another 2x4 up there. And that'll take care of that. Then I got the wiring done in the living room. And we're carrying it across, wherever it is, up to this junction box. It's not a breaker box, it's a junction box. But, ain't that a mess. So anyway, we're trying to fish this wire down this wall in the concrete and out the bottom but it's stuck it is so stuck we pulled and yanked and pulled and yanked we were trying to do this range right, right here but that Romex connector is stuck under there and it's hanging us up. We can't get it out. So, you can tell we pulled and pulled and pulled. We pulled it out of the wall to see where it was stuck. And then down in there. And then out here. And these carry all the electric to the living room, dining room, and then we're going to put one in this room. And here comes my helper now. We rented a camera. <laughs> we rented a camera to see if we can find out where the problem is. So we'll let you know.
and put batteries in. What if you put dead batteries in? Not working? Is there a switch? No, man. I had to hold it down, so. Can you I see? see you. Hey! <laughs> You're upside down. Oh. Am I upside down? Now I'm right side up. It's oh. So I see you. Do it. Here. Optical camera. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. When you find it, I want to see it. There's just a bunch of concrete. There's the wire. How do I make it go? You want me to fish it up it's in there? It's gonna take two people. You're okay. Gonna have to help. Okay. Okay. We finally got all this wired through all the joists and everything. We decided not to go through the wall. It just, we got a, a light scope and it just was jammed. So, since these furry strips are gonna have a wall on the side closest to me, we're gonna run them down the wall and under all the joists and everything. So right now it looks like a conglomerated mess, but it's not. I've got them all labeled where things are going and which is hot and which is load, which is line and which is load. I just need to get them tacked up. So right now I'm tackling that corner that had all the termites in it. So that's my next step. Shit, I knew it was gonna do that. go under the joist, tack it, nothing worse. While I was letting my phone charge, I worked on this box a little bit, and a friend of mine, this setup is, is weird, this is a junction box, and it goes outside and around to this wall problem I'm having is I need another line to be run through there. So he ran out of time today, but we did figure out that this living room here needs to go there. This needs to come off and then this one needs to be connected to here. So that's what I'm going to do next. And then I'm going to wait for the electrician to get here to finish the rest of it because even with the range, I'm going to wait for that, wait for the electrician to get here. So, but I wanted to get these off the floor so that I can get some insulation that finally came today in. I put a little bit of wood down just to have a place to walk and I can move it around as I need to for the insulation. So... And I've got my brackets semi-ready for clamping them down. I made sure that the top was not any higher than these furring strips here. And then I've got another one down there. So these are cut here and here. So they're dead. I want to make a note that everything in here on a piece of tape 
and here and here that this is all dead and abandoned in the wall. It will not come out so that the next person that may have to do some work will know those are abandoned. I'm gonna find it. Okay. This line feeds the box. This line goes to the range. There's a line on the bottom right there that goes under the house somewhere. I don't know where. There's a line over here that goes to under the house somewhere. This line, where am I? This line. Goes into the wall. Don't know where it goes. Then we have a box, an outlet here that follows this line. I'm getting there. Where does that go? I don't have any light in the house. Let's see. Don't know where that goes. There's a box here. Follow that white, okay, it's on the right. It's disconnected, I didn't do it. Where does that go? That one is the range. That one in the center, very center, is the, what feeds it. And the bedroom. Don't know where that gray one goes. Goes in a pipe. I'll get some light on it. And this gray one. Find it. Shoot. That gray one against the wall also goes into a pipe. You just can't see where it goes, but it does. Where is it? There it is. I don't know. So, where do you plug 